Well, Jim, I know you said you'll talk about your thoughts on Raw on the experience this week, but I did want to ask you about one thing. Bronson Reed, who we last saw in NXT, who you thought had something, was, I believe, released by Vince McMahon or during that period of time. He's been with New Japan. He apparently, and I didn't watch it, showed up on Raw last night as the bodyguard slash backup to The Miz. <clears throat> a lot of wrestling fans, I shouldn't say a lot, but there's a group of wrestling fans who have a real problem with this, who think this is a major step backwards, going from being someone who potentially could be in the main picture in New Japan at some point to being The Miz's bodyguard. What are your thoughts on that? So he's gone from a lead role in a cage to a walk-on part in a war. He's reversed the Pink Floyd. This is ridiculous that, again, maybe in the old days, maybe 30 years ago, it was, oh, I'll just do my 24 weeks a year in Japan and if I'm Stan Hansen or the Road Warriors or Dr. Death Steve Williams or Terry Gordy or whatever and make 12, Bruiser Brody, did I mention him, 12 or 15 grand a, a week and that money is better than anything going on in the United States and, and you know, I've got the job here for fucking however long I want it. Now, we're hearing some of these salaries that they're offering and I'm not involved in everybody's contract negotiations but it seems like a main roster spot and we just talked about mandy rose has got to the point where she can make hundreds of thousands of dollars on pictures of her ass but main roster salaries are five hundred thousand dollars six seven hundred thousand dollars or more these days but starting out it seems like that we're hearing reported people turning down offers like that do you think that he was making anywhere near that amount of money, or even if he was making anywhere near that amount of money with New Japan Wrestling these days, right now? Do you think that's the case? I don't think he's making that right now. I don't know what the future would have hold, held, I guess I should say. Would have hold it? Would have hold it for him. No, I don't know what would have happened, but I don't but, think he was uh, making that right now, no. But again, yes, there's something to be said for going doing something that you want to do and being free to pursue your uh, art and your career and whatever. But when it comes down to he's been there, he knows the system. He was let go instead of quitting. Uh, it, it, another triple H rectification here of something, he, a guy that he didn't want to see gone probably that was let go by the previous administration. And the most important thing is a lot of these fans are thinking, oh, it would be so great to go to Japan and wrestle and blah, blah, blah. Does he want to go to Japan however many times they go to Japan a year these days for? Does he want to actually make that, that physical trip 20-some hours in a fucking airplane in today's environment and fucking going to a foreign country and being away from your home for fucking days or weeks or however fucking long? and get beat up over there by people that are even fucking stiffer and more reckless than, in a lot of cases and people over here, and then come back and do, and do that for half the amount of money or somewhere less the amount of money than he could to fucking actually be on national television and work, what, three times a week is what they're working these days, three or four, whatever, maybe and be used by a guy who wants to bring him back by the biggest wrestling company in the world in his own, it's not his home country, but he ain't Japanese either, but it's a place where he can be on national television and be a star for the big company and a place where he's already been living for however long he's been here. I think somebody said, originally we determined he was from Australia, New Zealand, or someplace down under, I think. Australia, I think. Okay, but nevertheless, again, yes, I'm sure all these fans would love to do that until they did it once or twice and found out, wait a minute, you mean I can stay home and not have to fly fucking 20 hours and, and go through all the things you have to go to when you're on the road in a fucking foreign country, and I can probably get hurt a little less, less wear and tear on the body, 
and to make twice as much money or what and be on national TV. Who's the, what? Where are anybody even thinking about this? And it's not like that they've had him there for years and they beat him into powder. We said he was good and he seemed like he was getting over and he had fucking a lot of potential and he could move for a guy that size. That's something Triple H probably would like to utilize. Now, is it the best thing to be hooked up with fucking Miz? Some people in that company think so. Most fans don't. But I'll take that over goddamn one of those, one or two of those fucking trips across the ocean to Japan to get beat up by guys that just want you to stand there and trade chops with them. Well, again, the flight, it's ridiculous. The flight from New Zealand or Australia to Japan may not be as bad as the one from here in America. Well, no, wait a minute. Is it, it, he's been here. He worked for NXT. He's been working for Impact. He didn't just go home to Australia. You, I didn't know he was working for me. Impact. I didn't know. He, I, I, I don't know what the hell Jonah? goes on in Impact. Well, nobody else does either. But his name. He's been using the name Jonah. His name was Jonah. I believe that is what his name was. Who was the whale? Well, that was top dollar. <laughs> See, they missed a tag team combination there. <laughs> You really hate this fucking guy. But the point is, but back to the <laughs> the point is this: that guy didn't just go home to Australia and fucking sit and stew. He's still been in the wrestling business, from what I understand. That's the problem. You go to Impact, and it's like you don't exist. Wrestling purgatory. Look, look that up. Maybe I've got a brain tumor. I don't want to be wrong now. I just leave that dangling here. You're probably right. Let me look this up. Jonah Impact. Oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, so they ain't buying a plane ticket from Australia once every couple of weeks, so yeah, he's, he's around. And by the way, his real name is not even Jonah. How did he get the name Jonah? Well, I guess because he couldn't be fucking... What was he before? Bronson Reed. Okay, well, that's... So Bronson Reed was his name before, and then he switched to Jonah. He should have added the J in the Jameson, and then he at least had an established gimmick. <laughs> 